Hey guys, Todd here. Today we're going to install the half top conversion kit from Best Top on this two door Jeep JL. Now this does require that you have the Trek top already installed. The tools I'll be using for this installation are a four millimeter Allen wrench, a 10 millimeter wrench, a T25 Torx bit with small extension and ratchet, and a T40 Torx bit with small extension and ratchet. Now make sure you're subscribed to our channel to stay up to date with our latest content. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now we're starting off with the Trek top already installed. If you want more information about how that goes on, feel free to check out our installation video. Now I've already got the side window panels and rear window panel removed, and I removed the tailgate bar from that rear window panel because we will be using this with our conversion kit. Now let's hop inside the cab and fold back our Sunrider. All right, so go ahead and pull the levers down. That disengages the hook. Fold the cover back. Now we can disengage the Z clips on each side. Okay, so here's the Z clip. Now we want to make sure we don't have too much tension on it. So we want to take that tension off of the cable and the clip itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of pull on the tarp to get that tension off of there. Then what we can do is take the clip and just work it right out. Repeat the same process for the opposite side. All right, now that we have the Z clips detached on both sides, we can go ahead and fold our Sunrider back forward, but we don't need to reclamp it at this time. All right, now we're at the rear of the Jeep. This is the rear bow. We're gonna detach the Trek top from the rear bow. It's attached with snaps. So we're just gonna go ahead and pull those loose. Then we can fold the Trek top forward. Okay, so from here we can go ahead and release the Velcro from the bow on top of our sound bar, and then we can fold our Trek top all the way forward and let it drape over top of the windshield. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and turn our attention to the bow that goes over top of our sound bar. Uh, that's held in on each side by uh, some hardware. Now I'm gonna remove that hardware with a T25 Torx bit. Uh, now I've seen some of these kits that will have hardware that's in a four millimeter Allen wrench. Uh, so whatever you need to use to remove the hardware, go ahead and pull that out. Uh, but we're just gonna pull out the hardware. I'm not gonna remove the bow. Now we'll be putting together the bracket assembly that we'll install right here. Now this is the bracket assembly we're going to be installing where we just pulled out our hardware. In fact, this is the bracket that is going to mount up to the hardware you saw on camera on the opposite side. This right here, these are the, the holes that are gonna mount on the opposite side. I've got this loosely assembled on this side already. I'm gonna show you on this side how it goes together. We'll be using a 10 millimeter wrench and a four millimeter Allen wrench. Okay, now this is the bracket that we're going to install on the driver's side. Uh, these holes right here are gonna line up to the hardware we just pulled out. But down here are the holes we wanna focus on. Uh, now this is also a mirror image of the passenger side bracket. So this could be used on the passenger side, it would just be used in this orientation. Uh, but right now we're gonna focus on it like this. Uh, we've also got another bracket that we're going to attach it to. Uh, this is also a mirror image of the one that's gonna be on the passenger side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay this one on top and then out of our kit, we've got some hardware that we're gonna put down through those holes. And on the opposite side, we've got a washer and a nylock nut that we're gonna to put together and just get it on there loose for right now. So this is the first part of the assembly, loosely assembled. Now we're gonna bring this up. We'll notice we've got a hole right here. 
Um, and here is our extrusion that is going to go behind our center uh, bow. Now, you'll notice we got a hole down here. That's going to line up to this hole. Also, make sure the flat side goes up against this bracket, and the part that comes out to form the channel is towards the rear of the vehicle. We're going to take bolt, go through, go through this hole, and then take the nut, and then thread it on like so. And again, we're just putting this stuff on finger tight for right now. We want it to still be able to wiggle around. That way we can line things up when we put it in place. Once you repeat that same process on the opposite side, we'll go ahead and take this back up to the Jeep and we can install it. Okay, now here is our assembly. These are the two holes that are gonna line up to the two holes in our bow assembly. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and set those in place like that. You'll notice that back here, this notch is going to also line up to this bracket. Once these holes are lined up, we're gonna go ahead and take our hardware and get it started into these holes. Um, you wanna make sure that these bolts are lined up then before you go any further, line up the bolts on the other side of the bow. Once all four of those bolts are lined up, then you can go ahead and snug these bolts up because we wanna make sure that everything is connected and we're not creating any kind of a bind. So I'm gonna go ahead and snug it up on this side because I've got them lined up on the opposite side. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and tighten up this hardware here. So on the bottom, we're gonna attach our 10 millimeter to the nut, and then on our top, we're gonna do a four millimeter Allen wrench and tighten that up. All right, and then on the inside here, again, the 10 millimeter to the inside, and then the four millimeter uh, to the bolt. All right, and tighten the hardware on the opposite side the exact same way. Okay, so now in your kit, you're gonna have a piece of fabric that looks just like this, it's called the duster. Um, now, on one end, you're going to have some tabs that are sticking out the sides. That end is going to be attaching to this extrusion. So what we're going to do before we attach it to the extrusion, is we're just going to kind of roll it this way towards the extrusion. So we're going to take and fold it over, and we've got some stiffening panels over here, so only it folds so much as it rolls. Once we get it here, you'll notice on this end right here on the bottom, we've got a P-strip that's actually stitched into the fabric. What we're going to do is we're going to slide that into this aluminum extrusion. Um, now, this, if you look real close, has a slight bow to it. Um, and so what we're going to do is with the bow, we're going to pick the top of the bow, the extrusion that's running through the top of the bow, and slide that into this extrusion. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. get it centered onto the duster. So this piece right here is called your wind jammer. Now the wind jammer is going to also be attaching to this extruded bow. Um, but before we attach it, I wanna go ahead and show you how everything is aligned. Um, you'll notice we've got a couple of kind of wings that come off of it uh, that have windows on them. Up at the top, kind of a, away from where the bow is, uh, we've got some openings up top. Um, and then you've got this flap that's right here. Now let me draw your attention to this flap. Underneath this flap, we've got another uh, P extrusion that's stitched into the bottom of the wind jammer. Now that P extrusion is going to slide into uh, our bow and we've attached our duster into this extrusion. We're just gonna rotate over to the next extrusion and slide it into there. Now, as you're sliding it in, be very careful with your windows. Uh, make sure when you slide it, you're not doing anything that's gonna scratch those windows, they can be scratched.
and get it nice and centered. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and install our extrusion end caps. So let me go ahead and first pull back and show you what we're, you're gonna be looking at. Um, this is our duster portion. I pull this back, here is the extrusion that both of these pieces thread into. Uh, now I've got it rotated to where this is the top. This is the part that the duster is slid into. Uh, this is the cap that's gonna go on that end and you'll notice you got a wing on that cap. The wing needs to be to the top and the wing also needs to be facing towards the front of the vehicle, so away from the duster. Um, the other side is a mirror image of this one, so make sure you're not using the wrong side where the wing is on the bottom. Um, also make sure that you've got it pointed the right way. And this one is going to go on the opposite side the exact same way that this one goes on this side. So on the inside of here, you've got a notch here on the top and the bottom that's going to slide into the top and bottom extrusions just like so. All right, and now repeat the same process for the other one on the opposite side. Okay, so here we are on the driver's side. This is the top of our tub. This is the back of our front seat. Uh, what we need to do is we need to make a mark on the top of our tub deck. What we're gonna use the, to do that is a tape measure. We're gonna bring that all the way up to where the door jam is and hook onto that portion there. And bring this back to 16 and one quarter inches. Once we've got it to 16 and one quarter inches, I'm just going to use a silver sharpie and make a mark at 16 and a quarter. And we'll repeat the same on the opposite side. Okay, so now we've got the duster and wind jammer assembly inside the Jeep. Um, so let me peel this back and show you. This is our extruded bow, and here is our end cap. Now, in order to get this installed into the Jeep, we need to kind of have this not straight on, but at an angle the way it is here. On the opposite side, I've already got this portion right here kind of clipped into the tub. Um, and you want to do that by pulling the opposite side, the passenger side, as far back on the tub as possible, and then bring this as far forward on the tub as possible. That way, you can slide it into place. Now, as I bring this back, I'm also going to bring the passenger side forward. And what we want to do is bring the front of our wing up to meet our mark that we made at 16 and a quarter inches. Okay, now on this wing that we just installed, you'll notice we've got kind of a black composite rectangular piece that's facing up. Directly above here, you'll notice this bracket that we installed earlier has a rectangular piece that's facing down. Now, in your kit, you're gonna have a couple of aluminum rectangular bars that look just like this. Um, when you look at it on the open end, you have one side that's a little bit wider, one side that's a little bit narrower. The wider side is gonna be facing towards the inside of the Jeep, the narrower side will be facing towards the outside. So what we're gonna do is we're going to line up the wider end to our bracket here and slide it in place and then line it up down here to our composite piece and slide it down onto it. Repeat the same process on the opposite side. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and attach our duster to the tailgate bar that we removed from the rear window portion of the Trek top. Now on this tailgate bar, you're gonna have an opening. That's where the window was slid into. That's also where we're going to slide the duster into. So when we pull up the duster, we're gonna see we've got a P extrusion it's going to slide into that bar. Let's go ahead and get that exposed. I'm going to slide that in there. Get that nice and centered. We're going to bring it to the retainer. and rotate it into place. Okay, now you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this sleeve of the duster is going up the sport bar. Next, what we're gonna do, if you fold this portion back, you're gonna see the black stiffened piece along here and then also the semicircle. All of this needs to be tucked underneath the belt rail. We wanna start at the back and work our way forward. So we're just gonna take and lock it in.
Then we're gonna go to the rear. We've got the same piece back here. We're gonna tuck it to the belt rail in the rear. Next, we're gonna come up to this portion and tuck this underneath the belt rail as well, working from the back to the front. Go ahead and fix the Velcro on the sleeve and repeat the same process on the opposite side. Okay, now we can go ahead and install our sport bar sleeves. Now, this came already zipped up. I went ahead and unzipped it and folded it out. These are side specific, so let me show you how to orient them properly. Um, whenever you fold it out, you're gonna notice you've got a hole in this center piece of stitched in fabric. The hole, it needs to be to, you know, closer to the top side. So if it's on the bottom, you got it turned upside down, you need to flip it over. Also, this is the driver side sleeve. This hole needs to be the outside of the vehicle. So if it's the inside, that's the passenger side piece. So you go ahead and switch those. Next, what we're gonna do is line this hole up to a hole that is in our sport bar that a bracket is sitting over top of. We need to remove a screw first. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, here we are on top of the sport bar. This is our bow bracket with our Trek top kit. Uh, this is the screw that goes down through there. It's really more of a bolt. We're gonna go ahead and pull that out using a T40 and set it to the side for right now. Now right here is the hole we need to line up to. So here is our sleeve. We're gonna kind of slide that up, pull this apart so we can slide our sleeve in place and line that hole up just like so. Once we get lined up, then we can go ahead and put this bolt back in finger tight. We don't wanna tighten it down all the way just yet. All right, now let's go down and zip it up. Okay, now that bolt is gonna hold this in place so it doesn't shift alignment. Uh, next, what we're gonna do is go ahead and down to the bottom, line up the zipper and zip it all the way up. Let's go ahead and tighten that bolt up. Okay, now that we've got it zipped back up, we can go ahead and tighten this back down with a T40. And repeat the same process for the sport bar sleeve on the passenger side. Okay, now the Trek top fabric um, was folded over top of the windshield. Now I've got it folded back into this position here. Um, this right here is the piece that's stitched into the top that the side windows slide in and out of. And now the wind jammer side window is going to slide through here. And so the way we're going to do that is we're going to lift up the wind jammer or pull the window around the side. And you'll notice we've got an extrusion right here. That's what we're going to start sliding this into. So as we start sliding it in, we're going to be able to get a little bit and then go to the other side and start working that through. You're going to want to work this all the way back to the back. Okay, now the back of the wind jammer, when we go up to the top, we're gonna notice we've got this bead that's stitched in. This is going to wrap up and then tuck into this channel right here that we installed earlier. After we do that, we're gonna take this portion right here, which has got Velcro, and you'll notice it kind of makes a little bit of a hole right there. It's gonna wrap around our bracket up at the top and then meet to this side of Velcro up at the top. Let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, now we've got that bead into the channel. We're gonna go ahead and attach the Velcro up the top. So we're actually gonna work it up along the top on this side first, and then go up underneath and set the Velcro. And repeat the same on the opposite side. 
Now we can go ahead and set our side window panels on our wind jammer. Now, when I flip this back, you'll notice we got a piece of hard plastic that's stitched into the front edge. That is going to tuck into this channel in our door surround. After we do that, we're going to turn to the bottom. We've got another one that's going to tuck into our belt rail. We're going to start from the rear and work our way forward. We also want to make sure we go around this part of the dog leg piece that comes off of our duster. So let's pull that forward. Start it down here. And then back here. All right, now repeat the same on the opposite side. All right, I went ahead and folded our Sunrider back. That's going to allow us to get a little extra slack on our cable and Z-clip. That way we can go ahead and reinstall that. And do that on both sides. Now, before you fold the Sunrider forward, it's a good opportunity to go ahead and set that Velcro on the bow above our sport bar. Now, the way that we've got everything set up, it's a little hard to see on camera, so I've already gone ahead and done that. Now, we're gonna go ahead and fold our Sunriser forward and latch it into place. Let's head to the back. All right, now we can go ahead and pull the tarp tight to the back, reattach our snaps, and reset our Velcro on the corners. Well, that concludes the installation. If you found this video helpful, make sure and give us a thumbs up. If you want to know more about the product, check the link in the description below. And as always, if you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online at realtruck.com.